Good morning, Quack Cupter 101 here, and uh, I want to talk about a subject that uh, I get asked questions a lot, okay? Uh, normally, uh, I, my viewers will ask me, I, I try to record a video, but it doesn't record on my uh, card. What's the problem? Well, the problem might be the card itself, folks. Um, over the years, you know, the memory cards that we use these days, these micro SD cards, they've been around for quite a few years, but they have evolved greatly since they first came out. And some of the cards that that we got uh, will work in some drones, but they won't work in others. Okay, um, sometimes I get a question from somebody saying, okay, I got this 64 gigabyte card or 128 gigabyte card, but it's not working in my drone. And they're, they're talking about something like an Ishin E58 toy drone. <laughs> the reason being uh, that that drone, uh, the uh, writer, right? Or the, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, the SD card writer that's in that drone uh, wasn't was designed before uh, these 64 gigabyte cards came out. And I, I want to explain about these cards. We'll go into detail in each of these. Uh, additionally, some pe sometimes people use a uh, an older card like a, uh, a a four gigabyte or an eight gigabyte card with like class four write speed and try to use that to record 4K video on their drone and they're wondering why the video has got, you know, has, has tons of frame dropping and it looks just awful. Well, they're using an older card. It can't keep up with the write speed of that four, 4K video. The, uh, the, the data um, transfer rate from that 4K video, just, you know, that card can't keep up with it. So let's go over these cards and I'll, I'll show you the markings on them, what they mean when you select the, an appropriate card for your particular drone. Okay, we see on the left here, Okay, I got these put out in, in order of uh, the technology advances that have come over the years. We'll start with the left side here. We're seeing these two gigabyte and four gigabyte card here. Um, notice that over the years, the uh, amount of data that you can put on a card has increased dramatically up to 64 gigabytes on this particular card here. And um, you're talking in the future, you're going to be going up in the terabyte range. So, <laughs> but uh, again, you know, with that in mind, in addition to the memory, the read and write speed has also increased dramatically over the years with these cards. But again, starting with the left side here, we see a two gigabyte card and a four gigabyte card with no other writing on the card. Okay, this these older uh, cards would work on the older toy drones that record in 480p or even 720p. Uh, they would be appropriate also for, for taking photos on those older toy drones. But the write speed on these you have to consider. Uh, if you don't see anything written on them in terms of uh, class, class, and I'll talk about class here shortly, that's the C, um, you can assume that the write speed on these is around the two megabytes per, per second write speed. Um, again, it's appropriate for an older drone, an older toy drone that records 480p video and 720p video. But when we start to get into higher uh, resolution videos, uh, we and you know the like 1080p, we have to consider increasing the write speed of that. Um, this particular card here is class four um, at four gigabytes uh, write or four gigabytes capacity. Class four high, they call it high capacity card. Four gigabytes, uh, but you know, with this class four, that's still not appropriate for recording a 1080p video. Okay, for 1080p, we need something that has higher write speed. And when we're seeing that class four, what that means is four megabits per second write speed. And again, that just won't be fast enough to record a 1080p video at 30 frames per second. We'd start seeing frame dropping if we tried to use that card usually. We want something to, for 1080p at 30 frames per second, we want at least a class six. We want to see a six in that little C there, okay? Uh, but I don't have a class six right now, but also an appropriate card these days would be a class 10. You can find these easily. Class 10 or also U1, they call it um, um, ultra high speed um, video card. You know, they were starting to look at saying, you know, these class, classes, that we're using these class codes are not sufficient to what we want to, you know, we can't be saying class 100. That's just the 100 won't fit in that C, okay. you know, for hundred megabits per second. Okay. So they came up with a new class and they call it ultra high speed class U1. Now U1 is the same as class 10, uh, which is 10 megabits per second, write speed. We also seen that uh, over the years, again, they, wow, we're in the 32 gigabyte capacity. Um, 
but it's high capacity card. And when you see HC, what that means, folks, is uh, the format of that card is FAT32, okay? Uh, FAT32 format when you see the HC on these old older cards. 32 gigabyte or below, we can assume that it's FAT32 formatting, if you, if, for those wondering about the format of the card. Um, these cards will work in most drones, okay? This class 10 HC card will work in most drones. However, again, if you try to use 10 megabits per second write speed, you are going to have problems with the, the new higher resolution videos, such as 4K, um, even 2K, or even 1080p at 60 frames per second might have problems with uh, 10 megabits per second. You might want to increase the write speed, okay? To do that, they came up with a new code they call uh, video code, V30, <laughs> v, V10, uh, V30. Uh, again, this means 30 megabits per second. When you, I'm showing you on the right here, this card here, V30, which is 30 megabits per second, also known as a U3 card, which is also 30 megabits per second. Notice the, the capacity has increased, though, with these newer uh, cards. These are XC cards. Um, when you see, let's see, is XC written on there? I'm trying to look right now. But these are XC cards, which means they are formatted in uh, XFAT format. Now, XFAT can go up to, and the reason they, they switched to XFAT format, we can now go up to uh, two terabytes of uh, capacity onto the card. Okay, you couldn't do that with uh, FAT32. X, so we had to switch to XFAT with these higher uh, resolution cards or higher uh, capacity cards. This one here is 64 gigabytes. But again, these cards can also go up to 30 or 2 terabytes in capacity. Now, most people say, well, why don't I just buy the high-end card and, and use it with my older drone? You don't want to do that with older drones, um, particularly the older toy drones, in that when you use these higher capacity or these higher cards with XC, uh, these these older drones do not understand XC, you know, do not understand XFAT format, the, the card readers in them. You gen, they, the older drones generally use older card reader, card writers in them, and those ones really don't understand XFAT uh, format, okay? Now, you want to use these newer cards, this, um, this one here in particular uh, is a 64-gigabyte uh, uh, V30 card that... You want to use these with 4K, okay? <laughs> what I'm trying to say here, I'm trying to stumbling over my words here. But the newer 4K drones with true 4K video, the uh, the data write speed that you're going to need to properly record that video is you're going to need much higher than than uh, U1, 10 megabits per second. Now you can record with this, I'm, and I'm going to try to demonstrate here and uh, showing you the difference between what a, a, a class 10 card versus a U3 card, which is the, again, the right one on the right. Um, the difference what you're going to see is both of them will record the video, but you'll see uh, frame dropping, which is stuttering in the video with the class 10 card because the class 10 just cannot keep up with the data rate that's coming from uh, the 4K video. It's just too much data. And what it, what it does is if I, if I can't, write it out, you know, keep up with it, I'll just drop some of it, and you're going to see stuttering in the video. Um, so again, if you're flying with a true 4K drone, okay, that takes a true 4K video, 4, 4K resolution video, you are going to want to get the U3 card, or V30 card, or above. So that's just a quick rundown again. Um, again, if you're for those of you wanting to fly these new 4K drones, you are going to want to use this type of card in your particular drone, you know, a U3 card. So that's just a quick overview, letting know, <laughs> people know with the, the particular problems that they might be running into with the cards and their particular drone. So leave any questions below, I'll try to answer them. So I hope you enjoyed this quick review. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.
Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.